Hi guys, today I'm going to do a brief review of the Microsoft Lumia 550. I've had it just over a week now, I think. So I've had time just to have a little play with the the features. Um, as you can see, this is running Windows 10. Um, I believe it's the up-to-date version. Um, we have a 4.7 inch 1280 by 720 uh, screen, so it's 720p, but it's not full HD. Um, we're on at 16 million colors. It's an LCD uh, panel, so it's not OLED or anything like that. It's got 355 pixels per inch, so it's not too bad. Um, Weight-wise, it's only 141.9 grams, so it's quite it's quite light. It's not too heavy in the hand or anything like that. Um, battery is a 2100 milliamp, so not the greatest, but we'll get back to that. Um, we're running a quad-core processor, and that's at 1100 megahertz. Um, it's a Snapdragon 210, so not the greatest. Um, we've got one gig of RAM in here. Storage is uh, eight gig, but usable is four something. But it's expandable up to 200 gig using the uh, micro SD card. Um, it's 4G, Wi-Fi, the usual stuff like that. Um, we're having a two megapixel camera at the front here. It focuses in. There's your speaker. These are all the little sensors, uh, the proximity sensor and ambient light sensor. Um, at the bottom here you have your microphone. Here is your micro USB slot for your charger and your data cable in. Around the back, so at the top we've got our headphone jack. Top, this is our 5 megapixel camera, the flash, Windows logo, and then the speaker. This side, nothing. This side, you have a volume up and down rocker, and your power lock button. Now, first off, I'll um, go for a quick brief of the UI. Now if you're familiar with Windows 8 or Windows 10 you'll be very familiar even if you're um, used to the Windows um, Phone 8 uh, layout then you'll be you know you'll suss this out no problem. Obviously like it says it's Windows 10 so the usual stuff you would find program wise i.e your Word, um, Excel, notebook, presentation, stuff like that is all included. You have your Groove Music, Film and TV. Again, that's like um, the main music player that Windows 10 would use. Um, but you can also have like streaming services to it as well. Personally, I don't use it. Film and TV, that's obviously self-explanatory. To watch your film and TVs, you have Cortana, Store, pretty much everything basic wise you'd find on Windows 10 that would run on Windows uh, Mobile is here. Um, some of the stuff that was included in Windows Phone 8 isn't on here, like the um, Go Maps or whatever, that's not in here, it's using its standard map thing now but it's not too bad I've not really used it as such but you know it's supposed to be quite good so basically um, when you pull down again you can familiar site for your notification panel is it look appear on um, Windows 10 PC version just so you can see it's been customized for mobile. So you've got your flashlight, camera, that's your brightness settings. That'll be to turn your 4G on or mobile internet on and off. 
location Wi-Fi, um, rotation lock, quiet hours, hotspot, you get the drift. Um, I believe on Windows 1 we get the tablet, uh, on the PC version, sorry, some of these obviously will be replaced by other things, but the VPN and settings, the majority of that is what you'll see on the Windows the standard PC version as well so that's quite a good um, condition there and also you can collapse it just to have the basic ones there um, one thing I did notice was actually quite a nice thing is if you push and hold the Windows button you can get the one-handed use uh, but I actually found this out um, by accident uh, because also I'm used to using um, Android phones. Obviously, push and hold and middle button for Android phone brings up uh, the Google app or whatever. So you know, I brought that um, brought up accidental, but that's actually quite a, a handy thing to have. You know, um, one-handed use for everything. It's it's not too bad, you know gets the job done so that was quite a good thing while I was on the cam camera I might as well have a quick um, talk about that now it's a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus it's a 2 times zoom it's a quarter inch the sensor size is quarter inch um, it does the usual geotagging um, touch focus um, we do have a couple of on this bit here you'll see this is like the um the auto setting so as you can see we do have hdr let me just but then when you go to this bit this becomes like the pro mode so you'll see we'll have um that's to rotate the camera with a flash or white balance. This is for our focus. Go it manual or infinity or infinite focus, should I say? ISO sensitivity. You can change that. Shutter speed. That will um, the longer you get. I should say the slower. Or faster also changes the ISO brightness what's good about this is if you have that just setting on just where it's auto when you take the picture it will um, do it as it will basically show you as um, in the file name of the picture it will show you if it was pro or if it was just uh, auto which I think is a nice little touch now the images themselves, they, they, they don't take too bad uh, images, I mean it captures pleasant colours and there's a decent amount of detail there. Um, I personally wouldn't use this as like my main go-to camera um, and with the video only being uh, recorded in 720p um, that might be an issue for some people. Um, but you can change the frame rate but there's no 60 frames here um, we're looking at either 30 frames, 25 frames or 24 frames so nothing really spectacular there um, that's a good feature when it focuses in focus light and I believe it takes one picture without the flash and one with and then it's supposed to put it on top or something like that I can't really remember. Live images, essentially what it does is it take a photo, it record a very quick video clip. So when you go to view it on the phone, it will show you a very quick video clip and then the picture. Um, Sony does that, um, a, a different rendition of that, but it's pretty much the same. Um, I can't remember what they call it, but you know it's a good little feature. Uh, digital visual stabilization. Well, you know, it is what it is. Um, you've, you're very limited to um, 
what options we get. But there's still a few nice few options so and then you got your panorama which you have to do it that way. Um I tried rotating it but it appears you only do it that way so I don't tend to use that. Um when it decides okay it doesn't want to play ball here so yeah so the cameras it's, it's not too bad but i wouldn't um you know it's all right for like quick shots stuff like that um but other than that i don't have any issues with that one the the front facing camera two megapixels i'm not going you know there's no point it, you know it's all right for quick selfies for snapchat stuff like that um or your skype calls but that's pretty much um all i've got to say on that now battery life um as i mentioned it's a 2100 milliamp battery um from when i got it i charged it full i basically found that you know it drained quite considerably from it, it went from 100% down to 90% in only a few minutes um, now that I, I didn't have the location on um, I had Wi-Fi on but the screen was turned down there was nothing running in the background i.e. apps so I don't know I know the screen is quite power hungry um, so you know that was quite an issue for me because I was sort of found I'm pretty much charging it every day. Um, now sometimes I'll leave the Wi-Fi on, you know, for notifications for YouTube, Facebook, this, that, and the next thing, and I only have the mobile internet on when I'm out. But um, still, it's it drops down quite a lot, so that was uh, a bit of a, an issue for me. Um, speed wise as mentioned you know it's only a snapdragon 210 um, it might be quad core but it's nowhere uh, you know a beast <laughs> there was quite a lot of lagging and even um, you know opening up certain apps it was just um you know, it was just lagging. That won't work because Wi Fi is not on. But there was just a lot of lagging, um, even when like loading up the camera. Sometimes it would just crash, um, freeze, crash, you know, typical Windows uh, style. But um, when it gets going, it, it's not too bad. But Obviously, nobody wants a phone that lags or, you know, stutters or just freezes. Um, so that was another issue that I had. Um, and also, um, the construction of it, it's, it's, it feels quite nice to hold in the hand. Um, I've got no issues with that whatsoever. It's just... Um, the whole it, it I won't say it feels cheap but sometimes when you're like uh you know you're doing your stuff on it you can hear the the plasticness of it you know it, it tends to move um and also this is just a bet hey it might be somebody else's as well but um, you've got like a gap between the screen and the case and all down there is essentially a you know a crap magnet you know what I mean it's um, hair dust all sorts and that's a little pet hate of mine you know I like the devices to look nice and clean and also fingerprints this has got a screen protector on it but before I put the screen protector on it just you know 
it's like a magnet for fingerprints and you clean it and literally you'd give it a good clean or whatever else and then um literally you turn your head round and there's this fingerprints all over it again so um that's not a good um getting text message here. that's not a good thing either um Protection wise for this glass, I believe there's there's no uh, gorilla glass. It's, apparently it's not even scratch resistant glass or nothing. So if you're gonna get one of these, I do suggest you get a screen protector on it pronto. Um that's pretty much the only um complaints I have like bad wise anyway. Um I mean there's a lot of good points to this, you know, the camera itself, it does take good photos design I do like the design and the color now this comes in white and black so that's just two colors um, but the design itself I do like it um, the fact that it's obviously Windows 10 is a good plus um, and with the inclusion of you know the little word programs <clears throat> excuse me again you know that's quite good I mean, it's essentially Windows 10 but just been um, mobile-fied, if that's even a word. So, um, you know, I do like it in the sense, you know, it's Windows. So, and I've always, I've always been a big fan of Windows, either way. Also, um, we can now have look into the the folder tree or structure. Uh, with the Windows Phone 8 version, it, you couldn't really access like deep inside the folders. But here we have access to our folders for our SD card and um, the main folder for Windows. But you know, there's you can't get right into the root of it. But you know, personally, I wouldn't need to or want to. Um, we have, you know, your, your calendar, your Outlook. Again, every, if you're familiar with Windows 10 on your computer, you'll be familiar with this layout, no problem. Um, everything's laid out alphabetical as well, which is good. Um, this does not support OTG, which... You know, it's a bit of a letdown because obviously being a Windows device, you'd think, you know, I think some of the, like the flagship Windows devices, they do. But with this one, because it being a budget one, um, I mean, to be honest, I don't see why, it, because it being a budget either, because, um, you know, there's cheaper phones out there that um, supports OTG, like the ZTE Blade. Um, the A452 I believe that supports OTG so you know that would be another disappointment for me because you know it's nice to be able to plug in your flash drives or you know and load content or take content off on the move but you know it might not be a big um, deal for a lot of people but again it's just another um mark against it in my opinion anyway but in general the phone works well um, again you can upgrade the memory card up to 200 gig so that's quite good um, I do like this phone um, but for me I would use it as my main one but I wouldn't use it all the time as a main one I mainly use this one as the secondary device um, because of the things that I've just mentioned, but it's it's a lot, you know, it's a lot better than the old Windows Phone Eight. I mean, you know, just the layout is a lot better. Um, this is the Lumia Five Twenty. Um, 
the screen feels a lot better on it on this one you know it's this was a this, this one here was obviously the, the most popular cheap windows phone i believe and i think it still quite is for this type but this one's also a lot better so yes i would recommend it um it has its good points as its bad points um but for me personally, it being Windows 10 for one, and it's got a gig of RAM, then it's got a lot going for it right there. So, you know, um, that would be pretty much it for me. If I've forgotten to mention anything, or if you've got any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below. Um, just before I go, this is a nano sim. It's not um, a micro sim, so it is nano. So um, for you that want to buy this, you'll obviously have to swap out your sim card for a nano one. But um, this one's unlocked, so I could put in see any sim. But obviously, if you got your like your shop, Vodafone shop, or whatever, they'll swap it for free anyway, so that's not an issue. Um, yeah. So if there's anything else that I've forgotten. Like it says, drop me a question in the comment box and I'll uh, do my best to answer it. So, um, I should be doing another video very, very soon. Um, so, um, until the next one, I'll see you later, guys. Cheers. Okay, just as I started to uh, edit this video, um, I remembered uh, about two things I want to quickly mention. First off, this does support a uh, glance screen. Uh, so if you want to obviously see notifications but you don't want to actually um, unlock the phone, um, what you do is basically is you move your hand across and it'll give you any um, notifications if, if you've got any your time, uh, the day, uh, things like that, weather, as you can see. Um, so you just wave your hand across uh, the top bar there, and it will show you. You'll find uh, the setting if you go into settings, and then you want to go to. Personalization, uh, personalization and then it's there glance screen now you can have it off show you how long it displays for and then night mode you change different colors of what the screen is uh, notification screen is uh, red green and blue stuff like that um, also um, I had a couple of people ask um, about Snapchat. Now this does not, at the minute Windows does not support uh, a Snapchat app. I do believe there's third party ones that runs off the Snapchat server, but there's no actual official app as of yet. But I have heard that they are on about doing one uh, soon. So it's just a case of waiting for that. But at the minute, there's no official Snapchat.